Okay, I want to show you the best invention that any airbrush artist who does large volume events uh, should invest in. And it's called an ultrasonic cleaner and it's used for a lot of different things, but I'm going to show you how to use it to clean dirty blast caps, dirty stencils, and of course dirty guns, because most of us spend hours on end cleaning them. So basically you fill up this tank with water and I have a little Tupperware tray that I'm going to fill up with 91% alcohol and I'm going to just throw my pieces of the airbrush in there. Look at how dirty this airbrush is, all gunked up. And normally it would take hours to clean a bunch of guns, but I'm going to show you how to get it done in no time. So I'm going to just take it all apart and put it in there. I don't need to put the chucking nut in there. So I'm going to fill it up with, with alcohol about halfway, maybe a little bit more. I'm going to also put my blast cap in there because if these get too gunky, you can't really use them. It's best to take them apart so that it doesn't lean up, but for this demo, I'm just going to. So I'm going to put the tray in at top, and the best part about this ultrasonic cleaner is that it has a timer. They're usually set for three minutes. So I'm going to turn it on and watch it clean. You can actually... And after three minutes in the ultrasonic cleaner, look at how clean this blast cap is. Shake it out. Get the excess paint out of there. This was totally gunked up, and now look at how clean it is. Same thing goes for my guns. Look at how clean that gun is. Like brand new. Okay, take the pieces out. The needle's nice and clean. And my little cone, which is the hardest part to clean, is clean as a whistle. This gun is so clean, when I put it back together, you can see that there's just nothing left in it. That ultrasonic cleaner really does work. But the best part about it is the time it'll save you cleaning your dirty stencils. So I'm just going to lay this stencil in there flat. It'll kind of soak down. Turn it on. And in under three minutes, look at this stencil. It's like brand new again. This stencil was dirty and caked on with alcohol-based tattoo inks. And now, if you give it a good wiping off, it's like brand new. 